Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Is that what it is? It's definitely fall because I'm wearing a sweater. <sighs> Big sigh, but there's so many wonderful things about fall, so we're going to be grateful for all of it, right? Okay, I wanted to jump on. I did a class last week about 10 things that we do at home to stay well, to stay above the wellness line, to get in front of illness. So many of us are surrounded by more germs than we're used to. And so there's a lot of things that you can do that are pretty easy and um, you just slowly start to incorporate them into your life. And then it becomes second nature and you realize, oh my goodness, we haven't had any sick days in a while. So here are some suggestions for you and let me know what questions you have. So I'm gonna go through 10 things that we do. So number one is you have to start with the diet. You have to um, understand that food can either be your poison or your medicine. And I know that blah, 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 you hear that, but it's true. And so when I feel like we are exposed or, um, you know, back to school stuff, we cut the sugar as much as we possibly can because sugar kills the immune system. I had no idea. I thought, well, sugar's just bad for you and it's not amazing for you, but it actually really, really impacts the immune system. So we think um, like, uh, you know, Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas and all the treats that are being passed around, that's when there's a lot, a lot of sickness too. So it kind of makes sense, right? So um, when somebody messages me and says, well, you know, I'm sick, what do I do? Because everybody wants an oil and there are some oils that can help. I say cut the sugar and the dairy. Cut the sugar and the dairy because dairy can feed inflammation too. So you just want to get the body so it's not trying to process all this other stuff to just be fighting off germs, right? So diet first, sugar and dairy are two that you wanna pay attention to. Okay, on the diet part and supporting the gut and the immune system, probiotics and enzymes. So I think there's a lot of talk about probiotics right now and that's great because I've gone to the doctor for so many years and they will only talk about probiotics when you take an antibiotic, right? Um, that's not the case. We have so much that we're exposed to, so we wanna be taking probiotics every day because it's good bacteria. It's the good bacteria to help fight off the bad bacteria because a lot of times there's an imbalance just because of our toxic world. So we wanna flood our gut with as much good bacteria as we can to offset the yuck because the immune system, so much of it, like up to 90% can be in your gut. So support the gut, support the immune system, support the immune system, stay healthier. So um, I have a probiotic that I like, it's called Life9 and it has nine strains of um, kind of the common probiotics. I take this at night to, so my body's not, fighting with food, it's so it can flood the gut and not be um, distracted by food that I'm eating during the day, so I take that. And then the kids take this, this is called Mighty Pro, and it actually um, tastes like a pixie stick, so they love it. It doesn't have any um, sugar in it, but um, it's a little stick pack. It's kind of like pixie stick, but it has a probiotic and a prebiotic. The prebiotic is just food for the probiotic, so they take that every night. So just taking probiotics at night is a really great way to just, while you're resting, support the immune system. Um, the other thing I mentioned was enzymes, and a lot of people don't know about enzymes. So your body has enzymes in it and produces enzymes, and enzymes just help to chomp up food. Well, if your gut is not working properly, it can't chomp up the food that it needs to and then your body can't use the food um, and then you don't have the nutrition that you need but also if the enzymes aren't if you don't have enough enzymes or your gut's not working properly and it's not chomping up the food that you can get like in simplistic terms chomping chomped up like food that's bigger particles gets lodged into your intestines it can putrefy and then you just have other issues. Candida, um, 
you know, it can perforate the lining of the gut and then you've got leaky gut and it's a lot more complicated than that. But the bottom line is that we need enzymes for all body systems to work properly. And as you age, you don't get enough enzymes and we're not getting what we need from the food. So we have to really rely on supplementation. So enzymes are another key thing to help support your body. And so I take, um, it's called essential zyme and it's like a, it's a bigger capsule, but they have a chewable for kiddos. So, um, I give these to the kids at night too, but it's also my secret weapon if the kids have a tummy ache. Because what happens when you have a tummy ache? Well, there's it's probably something that you ate a lot of times, and so you want to chomp it up and get it gone, right? So I give the kids enzymes when they have a tummy ache. I also put an oil on them, but this is a really, really great um, way to support the immune system too. So we talked about sugar and dairy, paying attention to those, reducing them as much as we can, especially if you've been exposed. And number two would be add the probiotics and enzymes daily. Make it a daily practice so that you're ahead of any sort of illness that might um, bombard you um, back to school, especially if you're working with kids and all that, right? Okay, so that's number two. Number three, thieves. Most people have heard of Thieves by now, but Thieves is basically a blend of oils that supports the immune system. It has um, rosemary, lemon, eucalyptus, cinnamon, and clove, and together they are a powerhouse. And it's awesome that they, it smells good too. So it smells like fall baking. But I put this Thieves on everyone's feet in the morning and somebody told me the best way, and I love it, is when the kids are in foot jail, because how many of your kids sit on their feet? And so when they're sitting on their feet and their feet are sticking out, I'll just drop an oil, drop thieves on their feet. And then, I, and then it floods their cells, uh, nourishes their cells, and helps it, them fight off all the yuck that they're exposed to during the day. So it's prevention. But if somebody is sick or you feel like you're coming down with something, you can just up the thieves. So get thieves into your life. Um, you can diffuse it. You can put it, like I said, on the feet. You can inhale it. Um, there's other ways to get it and we'll get it in there into your life and we'll talk about that. But get thieves, have it on hand because when you need it, you need it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and okay, so that's number three. So number four is I mentioned a little bit diffusing and that is another awesome thing to make a daily practice when I make my coffee I get the diffuser going we have this running all day long and all night long actually 24 hours a day but during the winter and fall we diffuse thieves all the time thieves and orange is amazing thieves and any kind of citrus um, you can play around with it but diffusing thieves your house is gonna smell amazing but more importantly, you are flooding um, everybody with immune supporting oils, plant-based, and um, it's another way to prevent sickness because our homes are toxic. Just think about you're sitting in a box, right? You're, you're not outside and everything's dissipating. You are um, in a closed area, which means if somebody's germy, you're all getting it, right? So, so get the thieves get the oils spreading around so that you, um, so it's supporting you. And um, like I said, it smells super good. So diffusing is another huge thing to do to support your wellness. There's other oils, so many other oils you can use, but Thieves is my favorite in the fall and winter. Um, okay, to go along the Thieves um, theme, because it's just my jam, um, Thieves Cleaner. So it's infused with Thieves. And what this does, because this is a whole nother class, but all the chemicals that we use to clean with, to wash our bodies with, to um, scent the home with like candles, to clean our clothes with, like so many chemicals and it's going up and up and up, um, the, the number of chemicals that we're exposed to. So reducing 
One of the easiest things you can do to help to detox your home is get rid of the cleaners, all the cleaners, the floor cleaner, the window cleaner, the, the surface cleaner, your toilet bowl cleaner, your shower cleaner, all the cleaners. You don't need all of those. Um, you can replace all of them with Thieves Household Cleaner. Um, so it's cheaper, which is great. It's easier, it's safer. You can give this to your kids so they can go clean. That is a bonus, right? <laughs> um, and it really helps to clear the toxic load in your home so your body's not exposed to all that. If your body's not exposed to all that, it's going to um, start to move above the wellness line, start to get ahead of that. All right, so Thieves Household Cleaner, um, you guys, it's the easiest thing to do to replace all the all the cleaners and I just love the smell so much so um, I use these household cleaner um, and then number six is we high-end microfiber so um, if you've done you probably haven't but there are so many videos that you can look at where using paper towels or kind of an old rag is just kind of pushing the dirt around. It picks up some because you can visibly see it, but you can't visibly see a lot that's left on there. So when you're using a chemical cleaner, it's killing some germs, but then you are taking a paper towel and you're pushing it around, okay? That's not helping with the germs. So another line of defense to get the germs up, like I see people you know, freaking out when somebody's sick and they're, you know, cleaning the door handles and that's good. You should do that. But use a high-end microfiber cloth instead of paper towels or an old rag. And it's another line of defense to get all the germs up and out. So um, the way microfiber works is that it cleans mechanically, so not chemically. Um, so you could use a plant-based plant -based cleaner. The oils in there really do help to kill germs but this picks up dirt and then it clings to the microfiber in it. So all, this is like so, so many little threads and you know, whatever, the microfiber, and it, and it locks in dirt. So then you just pick it up, you can rinse it off in hot water and throw it in the wash. So again, you're not, you're not buying paper towels, so you're saving money there, but you're also picking up way more germs. Um, I really like the Norwex, towels um you can go i don't know you can go online and get whatever but get invest in some really really good microfiber towels and then keep them in the bathroom and keep them in the um, kitchen and the trailer and wherever you are and then you just get them wet and go to town so i use my thieves household cleaner with the microfiber towels and i know i have that second line of defense plus they clean so much better than paper towels their life. I, I can't imagine have, not having them. So anyway, love my microfiber. So that is number six. Number seven, detox baths. Okay. So this is another thing when I get a message that says, oh my gosh, you know, the kids are sick. They just came home or so-and-so has the sniffles. What do I do? Well, I first say, no, you know, cut the sugar and dairy right away. Like, like that is not part of the diet. Get in a detox bath. So what is a detox bath? The main player in a detox bath are Epsom salts. Okay, go to Costco, go get your Epsom salts or wherever, just make sure it's not scented. Unfortunately, everything is scented because people are addicted to smells. I like things to smell good too. But you don't want that because we're trying to detox, right? We don't want to add more toxins and fragrance is just, it's toxic. It's, your, your body doesn't recognize it. It doesn't like it. It sends everything into a tailspin. So go get, you know, bags of Epsom salts are cheap. Keep them in your bathroom. And then when you want to get into a detox bath, get, I, 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 I just dumped this in now. But um, the, the basic recipe would be one cup of Epsom salts. And then baking soda, half a cup, because baking soda also can help pull toxins. So um, one cup of Epsom salt, half a cup of baking soda, and then you add your oils. Thieves is great. 
Clove is one of the key, like one of the top detoxers. Clove is cheap. Clove is amazing. Clove is amazing for oral health too. But those oils are spicy. So what you want to do always, always, always is get your, like go get a bowl or a mason jar or whatever. Get your Epsom salts and your baking soda and then put the oils in there first. Just mix it up with your finger and throw it in a bath as hot as you can get it. So super warm because the heat can also help to open up the pores to pull out the toxins. There are people that report black stuff coming out of their pores because it's pulling toxins. So that's not normal, but it does happen. <laughs> so, um, and then just drink a lot of water. So 20 minutes in a detox bath, drink a lot of water when you're done and then um, go to bed because get some sleep because sleep is what your body needs. Don't be a martyr and push through if you don't have to. Um, kiddos, maybe reduce. So I will put up to 10 drops in a detox bath for an adult. I would do three to four for a kiddo. And um, yeah, so those are that's the basic, super easy, super cheap, but really, really effective. And sometimes I'll do two a day if I'm really trying to get somebody well. Okay, so that is a detox bath. Eight, number eight. Let's just keep going with the thieves because um, hand sanitizer. This is another problem because we went on a cruise in February and they had the Purell. I get wanting to keep germs away, but the Purell, that's full of junk. So we're trying to get the germs off, but then we're introducing toxins to our body and that just that that's counterproductive. So get really uh, clean, but effective hand sanitizer. And I haven't found anything that works better than the Thieves hand sanitizer. Still kills 99.9% .9 germs, but doesn't have any junk. Most of the hand sanitizers have um, triclosan in it, which is toxic. It's not good for your body. So it's, you know, causing your body to fight that off when you don't want it to. You want to give it just something plant-based so that it can keep fighting off the germs. Um, so um, my my friend Heather, she works in a clinic every day and she says she hasn't been sick in two years since she started using this. She uses it every day. That's an amazing testimony. So I'm like, yay. So um, this I send with the kids uh, instead of the Purell or, or kind of the generic um, hand sanitizer. So get some good stuff. Okay, that's number eight. Two more. Number nine. What's number ten? Oh, number nine are two other oils that don't get enough love. Um, thyme and oregano, okay? Thyme and oregano. These are just straight from the plant. There's nothing else in them. They're very, very herbaceous, very. But oregano and thyme are two powerhouse antibacterial, antifungal. Put these on the feet. Um, Peyton had strep throat and he had like the white spots on the back of his neck and he had a sore throat. And I started doing oregano and thyme on his feet every 15 minutes. Yep, every 15 minutes. Keep oiling, keep oiling, detox baths, all the things that we just talked about. And he woke up and those things were gone. So um, go to the doctor if, if you need to. Like we're not anti-doctor, but for us, this was something I was so grateful to have on hand because um, it is a, they, these are powerhouse. Keep these in your cabinet. Keep these in your cabinet. Okay. Um, and another thing, like if you have a sore throat and it hurts really bad, this is absolutely terrible tasting oregano, but you, I put, I will chew some raw coconut, you know, not the fractionated, not, or not the liquid, but the raw, I'll chew it, put a couple drops in here get it liquefied and gargle and swallow and that's going down and that's just like, I feel like it's just eating up the germs there. So um, again, oregano, you'll smell like a pizza. Just deal with it, it's fine. Pizza's good, okay? But we wanna get better, right? We wanna get better. Okay, and number 10, I can't not talk about wellness without talking about my favorite lice spray because Back to school, we don't want to bring those things home, you guys. Don't Google that, by the way, either. You will vomit. <laughs> I did that. 
there's a lot of bad cases of lice out there. Okay, so let me share with you my favorite lice fighters. Um, tea tree rosemary purification. Okay, so these are another ones that you may want to have on hand. Uh, and then we're talking prevention. That's the best way. So you can make, here's my recipe, and I'll type this out here in, once I'm done. 10 drops of tea tree, okay? 10 drops of purification, and then five drops of rosemary. And you can mix that, get a two ounce, get them on Amazon or wherever, a two ounce little spray bottle. Make sure it's glass because oils will leach plastic. And so if you're gonna keep it in there for a while, get a glass if you can. They're, they're, they're totally available online. And then um, fill it up with witch hazel. I like witch hazel or distilled water, but witch hazel, it just helps to disperse the oils, shake it up, spray it on your kids' hair and backpacks and coats every day. And so that will be, um, those buggers don't like purification. They don't. So let's avoid it instead of having to fight it if it comes home, okay? I have a girl, I don't wanna shave her head. So I'm gonna do this instead. So that's the life spray. Okay, so let's review really quick and then I will jump off. Okay, for number one, reduce the sugar and dairy as much as possible. Especially if you're exposed or you have kiddos that are gonna be exposed. Sugar kills the immune system, dairy feeds inflammation. So sugar and dairy. Along with the diet, adding probiotics and enzymes every day as a regular part of your day, as your supplement routine, because just food, we're not getting everything that we need, sadly, okay? So those are two huge supplement options to boost the immune system and get the body working properly. Number three, get, th get thieves in your life, just do it. And it has to be the thieves because this is the original, it's been copied all over, thieves, is just the stuff. <laughs> if I had to pick one oil, I would have thieves in my house. Um, diffuse, get a good diffuser. Keep it going 24 seven, 24 seven. Your house is gonna smell amazing, but it's also going to help detox. It actually pushes dust down too, which is great if anybody has any respiratory issues. Number five, um, thieves household cleaner. I mentioned it replaces everything in your house. So that's way cheaper, but your house is gonna smell amazing, it's gonna be clean. And clean, go get high-end microfiber. Get high-end, don't go for the bargain stuff because this stuff will last you forever and it will help, it's a second line of defense to get the germs off your surfaces. Okay, so that's number uh, six. Number seven, detox baths. So again, one cup Epsom salts, half a cup baking soda, and then add your oils, whatever you want. Frankincense is great, lemon, thieves, clove, those are all really great immune supporting oils. And the hot water is gonna diffuse the bathroom too, so you're getting that. You could put respiratory oils in there too. RC, Raven, eucalyptus, so those are great um, for any sort of junk too. Okay, number eight, thieves hand purifier. Get a good, safe hand sanitizer for your kiddos and your family to keep in your purse your car. Number nine, do not forget the thyme and oregano, powerhouse supporting oils. And 10, I talked about lice and um, rosemary purification and tea tree. And I shared that recipe with you. There's other things you can do. Absolutely. We can talk about activated charcoal. We can talk about, um, you know, uh, drinking water, exercise, sleep. You know, there's so many other things, but these are some tangible things that we've done to really boost our wellness over the last few years. Baby steps, you don't have to do it all at once, but incorporate one thing. Just try that. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, guys. Bye.